Hey, what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here again with Marty Music. Gonna break down Matchbox 20 push. And it uses a bunch of easy chords. You've got to tune down a half step. Uh, but other than that, it's uh, pretty easy. So let's uh, dig into it. All right, E flat tuning. So it's just standard tuning, but every note down a half step. We're gonna play the G. And I'm uh, grabbing the third on the B with the ring, third on the high E with the pinky. And then a D chord, but I want to grab the second fret on the E string, so it's called D over F sharp. And if you have problems with that, you can play a D chord and it'll work, but you want to get that bass note in there. Then an E minor. and then a C chord. And this uh, is pretty much makes up, they go in different rhythms and combinations, but these are pretty much the chords for the song. So G, D over F sharp, B minor, C, G, D. And if you look and listen, that C chord is a little late in the progression, like that's one, two, three, two, two, and three. And a nice strumming pattern for most of the song, including the chorus. So I'm going down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And the next section is D. Down to C. Again. And at the very end, it hits a it hits a D chord to transition into the chorus. So that last D to C, D two three four one two three four C two three four one two D two chorus, and the chorus we have that same strumming. And we're going to have a, a G, D, C, D. And just like in the intro, that, that uh, second, let's see. The second D in the progression is a little late, like in the intro with the C chord, so. So it's like on the up, right after that down, it switches after. So it does that progression twice, then it does E minor, D, C, D. E 
minor D C D into the verse Next section is D to C. We're going to go back up to D. Back down to C. Get ready for a quick D. One, two, three, four, chorus. minor, D, C, and a late D, B minor, D, C, straight D, into a bridge section. Now if you haven't noticed, we're still only using those same four chords. So it's a good little tip when you're trying to maybe write a song too, because you can take four chords that sound good together, different rhythms, different lengths, different sections with the same chords. Okay, so the bridge is E minor, and then we have to visit our friend, the D, but with that thumb again, so. And then to a C. To a D. So no new chords, just a different combination. There's some little, you know, fancy breaks. If you're playing this solo at a campfire, maybe not, you're not gonna wanna, these are like arrangements for the whole band, but you know, you have the C and a D, D e minor, that and that C, D, ba, 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 da. So it's all the same order. Now into the chorus again. And then the other thing to look out for is at the end, it just kind of rocks out the verse section as an outro. there was you guys thanks again for hanging out uh really appreciate you supporting marty music uh you can leave your requests in the comments below while you're down there don't forget to subscribe i really appreciate that uh, hope to see you again real soon